Hi there, Hamish again from the Guitar Factory School. I'd like to talk about diatonic harmony with you guys. Uh, we'll do it in a few different sessions, but uh, we'll call this part one. Um, right, pretty fancy term. Diatonic just means working in a key centre. And harmony is just a fancy way of saying a chord or a chord progression. Diatonic harmony is a pretentious way of saying chords that work in a key. And it's pretty good to know what that's all about because you can start to recognize chord progressions really quickly. You can start to figure out how to play over them. And if you're a frustrated songwriter, it gives you a whole bunch of things that you can use that you always know will work you know, really well together. To cut a long story short, if you can just get two things down, you'll be able to figure this out. If I do this in the key of, say, C, now I'm going to play C major scale. I could play it there, or I could go up to fret number 8 there, it doesn't matter on the E string, so I could play it on the E string on fret number 8, or down here at fret number 3 on the A string. The seven notes of the major scale are the seven root notes for the chords that work in that key. So we're talking about the chords that work in the key of C and a way to figure them out. So the first note's C, the second note's D, the third note is E, the fourth note is F, the fifth note is G, the sixth note is A, the seventh note is B. So the notes in the key of C are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. That's in the key of C. So that's one step out of the way. You can figure out the notes as you're going along in any key. We're just doing this in the key of C because it's a nice key to do it in. Now here's the thing that you need to remember. The chord types that we get from this follow a set order and that's true for all 12 major keys. So for any one of the major keys that we're doing, we're just doing in one at the moment, the key of C. And that's a special, unique set of notes for the key of C. But the thing that overrides the key um, of C, and it's true for all 12 keys, is that the chord types will follow a set order. It goes major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. If I play a C major chord, that would be called the one chord in the key of C. If I go to the next chord, it will be D minor, then E minor for the next chord, then F for the next chord, F major, G major, A minor, and the second, the last chord there will be B diminished, then we resolve it back to C again. So, in Muse I speak, that what we're talking about here is the one chord, one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven, diminished, back to the one again. So I'm just playing them as basic open position chords. Of course you can play them any way you want. 